Hadith 1. Narrated Abu Huraira, I heard Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, saying regarding Ramadan, whoever prayed at night in it, the month of Ramadan, out of sincere faith and hoping for a reward from Allah, then all his previous sins will be forgiven. Hadith 2. Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, said, Whoever prayed at night the whole month of Ramadan out of sincere faith and hoping for a reward from Allah, then all his previous sins will be forgiven. Ibn Shihab, a sub-narrator, said, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, died and the people continued observing that, that is, Nawafil offered individually, not in congregation, and it remained as it was during the caliphate of Abu Bakr and in the early days of Umar's caliphate. Hadith 3 Abdur Rahman bin Abdul Kari said, I went out in the company of Umar bin ul Khattab one night in Ramadan to the mosque, and found the people praying in different groups. A man praying alone or a man praying with a little group behind him. So Umar said, In my opinion I would better collect these, people, under the leadership of one Kari, reciter, that is, let them pray in congregation. So, he made up his mind to congregate them behind Ubayy bin Qub. Then on another night, I went again in his company and the people were praying behind their reciter. On that, Umar remarked, What an excellent bid'ah, that is, innovation in religion, this is, but the prayer which they do not perform, but sleep at its time, is better than the one they are offering. He meant the prayer in the last part of the night. In those days, people used to pray in the early part of the night. Hadith 4 Narrated Aisha, the wife of the Prophet, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, used to pray, at night, in Ramadan. Hadith 5 Narrated Urwa, that he was informed by Aisha, Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, went out in the middle of the night and prayed in the mosque, and some men prayed behind him. In the morning, the people spoke about it, and then a large number of them gathered and prayed behind him, on the second night. In the next morning the people again talked about it, and on the third night the mosque was full with a large number of people. Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, came out and the people prayed behind him. On the fourth night, the mosque was overwhelmed with people and could not accommodate them, but the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, came out, only, for the morning prayer. When the morning prayer was finished he recited Tashahud and, addressing the people, said, Amma Badu, your presence was not hidden from me, but I was afraid lest the night prayer, Qiyam, should be enjoined on you and you might not be able to carry it on. So, Allah's Apostle died and the situation remained like that, that is, people prayed individually. Hadith 6 Narrated Abu Salamah bin Abdur Rahman, that he asked Aisha, how was the prayer of Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him, in Ramadan? She replied, He did not pray more than eleven rakat in Ramadan or in any other month. He used to pray four rakat, let alone their beauty and length, and then he would pray four, let alone their beauty and length, and then he would pray three rakat, witter. She added, I asked, O Allah's Messenger, peace and blessings be upon him. Do you sleep before praying the witr? He replied, O Aisha. My eyes sleep, but my heart does not sleep.